Hey, hey, you guys. Hey, hey, fellow YouTubers. Top of the morning to you. I'm in Flagstaff, and I'm going back down um, into Sedona for today for the second time. I didn't really know what to do or where to go, so uh, a <clears throat> uh, YouTube uh, subscriber on my other channel, Simply Boondocking, um, sent a message last night. Uh, why don't you check out uh, the Church of the Holy Cross? And it's in Sedona, and it's really, really cool. It was completed in like, uh, like 1950, thereabouts. And um, uh, I was reading on Yelp, this woman had vision of Jesus there, and she actually got pictures of this golden orb coming in to the, right by the crucifix. So it seems to be a really holy place. It's really, really cool. And then there's these four uh, vortexes, energy vortexes out in Sedona that I'm going to go visit. So I got my day planned. I'm excited. Um, but, you know, something's been happening that struck me, and it has to do with um, how my concept of stealing is slowly evolving and changing. Because, you know, I was raised where, you know, our parents promoted us to um, just have one person pay at the movie theater so they could go open the exit door and let his three friends in. Um, our parents supported some of those kind of, and I did too with my kids a little bit, <clears throat> because, you know, there's, <clears throat> excuse me, so many big businesses making so much big money and we're just these little puny individuals trying to get by and trying to afford a little bit of fun for ourselves. So I didn't really see a crime in that, but really stealing is stealing. So, you know, that was the first change in the concept. And then, you know, at work, um, there's days at some, time, at some locations where sometimes I would kind of um, get downtime and I would play on my phone. And then I was starting that other channel. So I was having fun developing that channel and I would work um, on that channel at work sometimes. And that um, was stealing because I'm getting paid for my time at work and I'm not working. 100% of that time. So I, I started confessing that and working on that, even though my bosses were so brutally heinous towards me, and even though the work was now really, really hard to do because of COVID, we weren't allowed to sit down with the children and test them. So we'd have to do an assessment without assessing the child. And that doesn't make a lot of sense to me, and it's pulling a lot of, cutting a lot of corners, and it's just not a real assessment and I have to put my name on it. So I had problems with it from the beginning. Anyways, that's a whole nother story. Okay, so then there was that concept of stealing. And then there's this concept of um, when I would stay at a hotel room, which would be very infrequently, you know, they would usually have like two full big towels, like two kind of smaller towels, and then like two or three hand um, sized towels. And I would usually want to take like at least one or two of the hand-sized towels or just one of the large ones to just use trying my motorcycle. And the smaller ones, I wanted it as rags to clean my motorcycle. You know, you go through rags. If you're taking good care of a vehicle, whether it be a car or a motorcycle, they get so filthy. You know, they're exposed to all that road crime and dust and everything else. I mean, bird poop. You know, so you got to clean the vehicles and you go through rags. So I didn't really see anything wrong when I'm paying 85 bucks for me to take this towel that's a dollar or two. But I kind of felt the Holy Spirit saying, you know, that's stealing, stealing, stealing. So I stopped and I, I had to fight that urge because obviously I'm staying in hotel rooms more than I used to when I had a residence. You know, I'm staying in hotel rooms probably... Initially, it was on average like once a week, and now I'm down to like um, maybe once every uh, two weeks. But this place was 73 bucks, Motel 6, and um, so I got two nights in a row. And when I do that, I mean, I just come into such a like relaxed, peaceful. Because, you know, when you're living out of your vehicle, there's just a lot of things to think about, and uh, there's certain tensions. Um, but when you can just park your car and get some downtime and just lock the car and just leave it there, get your free coffee in the morning, continental breakfast, your swimming pool, um, 
you know, breakfast places walking close by, they give you 20% off when you say you're from Hotel 6. So anyways, but then it's like, since the devil saw that I was fighting um, with this new and improved concept of what stealing is, um, all of a sudden things started falling in my lap, like where I have an opportunity to just take a freebie. Um, I know I'm forgetting some, but for instance, I went to breakfast yesterday morning and the bill was 10 bucks on the, on the button. All I had was a 20 and they didn't have any bills smaller than 20. <laughs> so, um, the woman said, hold on, I have to go in the back. So she went in the back and all she had was twenties when she came out. But actually it was a guy that dealt with me initially. So the woman on the way back says, I got the 21s. How much do I give back to the customer? And the guy I forgot, and he was like, all of it. So she gives me back 21s. And I kind of was hearing what was going on, but I was confused. So I was like, I think she just gave me 21. So I counted it out and just kept 10 for myself and took the other 10 and said, this is yours. You know, this is the 10 for the meal and I'm keeping 10. I gave you guys a 20. And she was like, oh, and she yells to the guy and he's like, oh yeah, I had a brain fart, my bad. And then she's like, I truly appreciate you. That was nice of you, thank you. Um, and then on the way back, I found these uh, brand new, really nice, brown cardboard glasses. So you can use them for shooting during the day. Um, they're kind of yellowish when you look through them, so you can still use them at night. And they're good for motorcycles, even though I just had to sell my motorcycle. Um, so I found that. Maybe it's like a reward for returning that money. And then it's Friday, so I, I last night I prayed to God and I said, I'm going to fast tomorrow until dinner time. I'm going to fast all day. And at dinner, I'll eat fish because it's Friday. I won't eat meat. So I'm saying this in my prayer. And then after dinner, I love my Reese's peanut butter cups. And they got a vending machine here. So I go down and I get that for dessert. And I come up, I eat that. And now it's morning time. No breakfast, just, just some coffee with a little bit of cream. And um, I'm walking the dog. And what do I see? I see a brand new Reese's peanut butter cup in the package, you know. So I fully could... Uh, have a, a Reese's peanut butter, but it would break the fast. Um, so what else is there with freebies? Oh, and then freebies. So uh, the guy, when I signed up for the second night in the lobby for the second night of the hotel room, the guy says, um, do you want your room to be um, cleaned um, today for tonight? I said, no, that's not necessary. I said, but I, I wouldn't mind having another towel because I only had one towel for um, getting out of the, the shower. I wouldn't mind another towel or two. So he ends up giving me a whole stack of these blue towels. I mean, there's, there was, there's no record of these, you know. He gave me so many blue towels. It would be so easy for me to take one or two of these towels, which I love for the road. You know, um, they, come, they come in handy, um, you know, even more here on the bed. They come in handy, and it would, it would be nice to have a few of those towels. You know, so another option to just take a couple freebies with no one knowing, no consequences. You know, but no, I'm not, I'm not doing that. I'm deciding against that. Um, so I do think that the devil pays just as close attention to us as our good, as our Father, our Heavenly Father, good Lord. And uh, when he sees you improving in one area, he seems to really come at you and attack you in that one area. And there's other examples of um, where I could take freebies, but I, I just haven't, um, gosh, it kind of frustrates me. Yeah, but like I met some homeless guy that was trying to get leverage with me. You know, some of these homeless people, they try to size you up right away. It's like a convict's mind on how they try to size you up. And then this guy wanted to, ingratiate me somehow give something to me you know so um, he's a 35 year old it's homeless guy he's kind of well kept though and I now when I look back I think he may have done some tricks because he doesn't have a job and when I ask him if he has a residence he's like 
kind of smiles, looks at me sideways, he's like, sort of, I do have a place to sleep. And, you know, so that was strange. And um, then he says he's been able to save up some money. How do you save up money when you don't have a job and you're homeless? Um, so, and he kind of had a, some of femininity. So I think maybe that's why he was trying to get in next to me. But anyway, so he pulls out a cigarette to smoke. He says, do you mind if I smoke? Because um, he sits down on my table in this outdoor courtyard. I said, no, by all means. He said, um, do you smoke? And he offers me one. I'm like, no, I don't smoke, thank you. Um, but then he's like, have you tried this certain tea? Um, it's not bobo tea, but it's some tea that's really supposed to be healthy. And I was like, no, I don't think I've ever tried it. He's like, what, you haven't? They got the best of this type of tea, the best one is right here. I drink it every morning. Let me get you a cup. I'm going to go get you a cup. I'm like, no, 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 that's all right. He's like, you seem kind of thirsty. Why not? Let, let, let me get one for you. I'm like, no, 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 I'm not thirsty. I'm fine, you know? Because, you know, it's like convicts. They want to, so then you now owe them something, and they have, kind of have something over you. Because, um, <clears throat> obviously, I have a car. He probably assumes I have a residency. But, you know, some of these homeless people, they said something about me. Because I'm so, um, I'm alone and I'm so chill. I'll just let hours pass reading my Bible and kicking it in the courtyard by myself with my dog. So they, they know that I'm not the typical tourist. But um, yeah, and so, you know, I, I say no. And so he continues conversation, finishes his cigarette. And then he, I couldn't take, no, he, he won't accept no for an answer. He's like, you know what? Are you going to be here at least five more minutes? I said, yeah. He just jumps up. He's like, I'm going to get you one. I'll be right back. You're going to love it. I'm like, it's okay. He's like, no, no, no. I'm, I'm on my way. I'll be right back. So he ended up taking like 10 minutes. And I was like, all right. The guy just fed me a line of BS. I'm, I'm leaving. So I'm getting up. And then that's when I see him coming with these two drinks and the plastic cups. So we sit down and we start talking again. And then I have a really hard time leaving. And another homeless guy comes up and introduces himself and sits down with them. So I took that as my, my opportunity to, to get out of there. But um, I think also when you have the happiness of the Lord, like I was in McDonald's yesterday. This would be the last thing I mentioned. I was in McDonald's yesterday and, you know, everyone's kind of coming in. There's a lot of um, people that appear to be down on their luck. And everyone just comes in kind of quietly and goes to the first, um, first, first thing they do is go straight to the restroom. Or they kind of go straight to order something. And no one's talking to each other. It's kind of a somber environment. There's no music playing. It's like first thing in the morning, like 6.15. Sun rays, sun's just barely coming in, the windows. And, um, oh, I'm sitting down. And then this um, tall, kind of African-American woman. She looks like she actually is from Africa with the headdress she had on. She walks in, and right when she walks in, she just has a real calmness to her gait. And she looks right at me, kind of with a small smile, and we make eye contact, and then we both have bigger smiles, and we smile at each other. And then she gets in line, and then I come up and ask for a refill on coffee, and they say, no, we don't do, do refills. And I was like, well, do you have the 50 cent deal where you pay 50 cents to get a refill? And they said, no, we don't do that either. I was like, okay, well, I'll just have a, a whole new senior decaf cup. Because at this place, they're literally 83 cents. So I'm like, I'll just have a whole another senior coffee. And then um, the woman says, um, you know, I can give you the same price for a large. So I can get a large coffee for 83 cents decaf. So I'm like, okay, I'll take that. And then she chimes in. She's like, yeah, you might as well. A large for the same price as a senior, senior decaf small. And I was like, yeah, right, I, I know. And then um, I got it and I said, thank you, have a nice day. And I turned to him and she says, you too, God bless. And then I heard God bless and I stopped and I turned around and I said, I knew you were a believer. The way you walked in with that just happy smile on your face, I knew you were a believer. She was like, amen, brother, God bless. And I said, God bless you. Um, so anyways, on that note, I'll finish my story about stealing. I am now growing in my understanding of all different forms and types of stealing and that none of them are okay. And it seems to be upsetting the gentleman downstairs. <clears throat> Anyways, talk to you guys later.